Hi everyone, Alex here. Today I'm going to show you how to create a type catalog and this is part of our sanitary valve series. So if you're following the series, make sure you watch the entire video because we do fix this bolted cap that came out a little bit smaller than it should have. So we fix that in this video. If not, you can skip to the timestamp where I show you how to create type catalogs. And again, if you want to download the valve family, just scan the QR code you see on the screen and it takes you right there. Let's get going. Okay, so if I open a new project based on the plumbing template, for example, and I drop the valve that we just created, let's say I drag and drop it from the location where I have it saved. It doesn't matter if I use one inch. What it will bring is all the types. See, it brought one, one and a half, two, three, and four. And in this case, it's a pretty simple family. It's a pretty light family. Uh, but sometimes you have like a pump that is very complex. And by using this valve a little bit, I realized that this cap and this cap were a little bit bigger than this cap and this cap. And the mistake I made, let me go to the reference plane. You see how this guy is a little bit smaller than this guy. If I follow this edge up, it's a little bit larger. And the same way here, here you can see it clearly. See this cap ended up being a little bit bigger than this one. And the reason is that if, let me go back to 3D view and change this to wireframe. And I'm gonna go to the smaller caps, right? Because this guy is okay and this guy is okay but then this one is one of the small one and what happened is that if you go to that uh on part two of this series around minute uh 10 45 you see that when i created this extrusion i'm gonna go to edit extrusion so you see what i'm talking about and i'm gonna look at it from the right hand side i'm gonna change my scale See, when I constrained with the cap offset, I selected, instead of selecting the valve body top, I selected the other cap that is right behind it. See, like this one. So what we're gonna do this time is, I could adjust this and just take it, take it up here and say that that's the constraint. Actually, let's do that. That's the easiest way. But it's easier just to adjust this. Then we do the same with this one. And now we select those four dimensions and lock it to cap offset parameter. See, now it looks a lot better. So let me click OK and finish this. See, now we're looking good. See how this one, how this cap and this cap are the same size? So now let's fix this one, which also ended up uh, smaller than the other one. And I, and I assume is for the same reason right so let's go to edit extrusion and then align to the back plane and do the same thing here so this dimension goes up to here this one goes up to here this one goes up to here and this one goes up to here and then those four dimensions are locked to cap offset we click OK, and now we're looking way better. So let's see, let's give a little shading to this. Yeah, now we're good to go. Now let's save our family, and I'll show you how to export types, which is the, the main topic of this video. So now if I open a new project based on the plumbing template, for example, I'm using 2019 because I want to keep my families very old so I can use them in any version of Revit. Uh, but let's say I drag and drop my valve, right? So this is my family. What I want you to notice here is that even if you just drag and drop the one inch, what happened is that Revit brought in all the types that that family has, right? So if I go to right click, edit family, right? This family 
has a bunch of types one two three four five and all those five types have been imported into my project now another option that we have is what's called the type catalog right and what you can do is you can simply come here and then export and then family types and then you give the family the same name and you put it in the same location i'm going to put it in the downloads folder just so that we have both files this txt file and the rfa file in the same location so that you can see what happens so i just exported the catalog i'm going to close the family and just so that you know what i'm dealing with here i have under the downloads folder I have this txt file and this RFA file because that's the extension for Revit families. And this txt file is simply, and I'm bringing from my other screen, see, so for one inch, then you have a bunch of parameter sizes. One and a half inch, you have others. The important thing is that now, if I open a new file, I'm creating a new model again, based on the plumbing template. Now the right way to bring in type catalog families is you come here to insert and then you load the family and in this case i'm going to import it from my download folder and since i'm in the revit environment i don't see the txt file but i do have it here right and then what happens is that when i select the rfa file and i click open i'm now presented with this dialog box and the cool thing about this is that i can bring in only the sizes that i want and let's say i want to bring in only the one and a half inch and the two inch I can click OK, and then you can see here that under my families, in this particular case, I created this one as a mechanical equipment. But if I expand here under the three-way drain valve, you only see those two sizes. So that can help you a lot with performance. You know, sometimes you have a bunch of pumps, and they have like 600 different types of uh, electrical connections, and you only want to bring, you know, one or two. So that's a good option, and that's what's called a family type catalog. And if you find this content valuable, there are many ways you can support it. You can like the video, you can leave a comment down there, it really helps me out. You can subscribe to the channel, you can review it on Google, you can join our Patreon community and support it directly. You can give super thanks, there's a button somewhere down there. Buy me coffee, keeps me awake, keep doing videos, as simple as that. You can spread the word with coworkers on social media, and you can recommend my services so I can help them out.